Hey guys, welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about the film Boy Erased. This is the second film directed by Joel Edgerton. He directed a film a couple years ago called The Gift that I really liked. So hearing him directing a second film, I was really excited about. Um, and also it's a film that's based off a book that was, um, I believe, critically acclaimed and possibly a New York Times bestseller and things like that. Uh, it's called Boy Erased, and it is based off a true story. It's kind of a collection of memoirs in a way. But in this film, you guys, it's about a young man who comes out as gay around the time he's in college, and he tells it to his parents who are very religious, so they don't really don't really take it very well. Um, but they want him to go into a recruit program of sorts that um, helps people that are either questioning or are gay to kind of see if they are officially in that state forever or if it's a phase they're going through or whatever the case is. And so he goes to this program and... Um, they're not nice at all. They give them no form of privacy, even if they have to go to the bathroom, they have to be supervised while they're doing that. Um, they, people who run the program are allowed to look through your phone and look at your old text messages and look through your wallet and anything you might have on you. And they have, um, ways of kind of deleting and erasing and doing certain things to you to really make sure that you're converted in any way at all by the time the program's done with. And so this young man goes through the program the best he can, sees some really horrific things, sees some really bad things happen, and by the time it gets around to his turn where the program people are trying to convert him in a way, things really go bad really quick. And so the film kind of revolves around is it okay for these kind of therapy things to exist? And if it is okay, what should the limitations be? Um, and so the film kind of plays around with everything, really. And what, interestingly enough, Joel Edgerton's character in the movie, since he directed the film also, and kind of has a strong opinion on this um, subject matter in, in a way, too, he, caps, he kind of has to play a character that represents the opposite of his beliefs. Uh, so I think that was definitely an acting challenge for him, is to play a character that is kind of the opposite of how he feels about this kind of thing in real life. Um, so it's a very interesting film. It's a film that kind of plays around with all forms of the equation, whether you are in the young man's shoes, the therapy session shoes, the parents of this boy's shoes, or just anybody kind of looking in on the whole thing. Uh, the film kind of views it from all angles, and it becomes a very interesting film as a result, and a very powerful film. There's some very tragic things that happen in this movie. So um, for Boy Erased, you guys, for the film, how I felt about it and everything like that, I really liked it a lot. I thought it was very powerful, very, very dramatic. Um, it really hits you in all the right ways, really makes you think about your own life and kind of how you would have handled the situation if you were this young man or his parents or if you were somebody in the therapy session watching all this go down and everything like that. So um, I personally thought it was a very impactful film. Joel Edgerton continues to be a great director and actor. Um, I think kind of like Ben Affleck, he seems to be good at directing himself and acting in his own projects when you give him full creative freedom. And also just like The Gift, um, there's kind of a sense of mystery and a European flavor to the whole film. And I thought it was very effective as a result. So for my positives and negatives of this film, you guys, this film is very emotionally powerful. Um, any scene that really makes you feel for this young man really makes you feel that you really want to get him out of that situation or you just feel sorry for him or you're, you you know, really want the parents to kind of go back on their word and kind of get him out of that program as soon as they can and things like that. Whether it's any of those kind of scenarios, this film is very emotionally powerful. Lucas Hedges, Nicole Kidman's, Ra Russell Crowe's, and Joel Edgerton's performances are all very strong in this film. Uh, Nicole Kidman and Russell Crowe play the parents, and like I said, they are very religious, so there's a lot of things going on with them when they heard the news about their son that they kind of have to process themselves uh, when the son's telling them things that are going on in the therapy session, and even small things like... When you go home from the sessions, you can't tell anybody what was going on in them and stuff. Even that's kind of the red flag for them that this, there's something kind of not quite right about this thing that we sent him to. Um, and Lucas Hedges, I thought, was very good. He really was very believable as this young man that really wants to pursue his life the way he wants to. Whether that is a way that people are going to support him on or not support him on. Whether it's a way that, you know, people that he knows and romantically pursues that help him to pursue that way of thinking and stuff like that. Um, and Joel Edgerton's performance I thought was very strong too. Um, you know, he, you can definitely tell he he had the right intentions, but how he went about these sessions were just not 
humanely the right way to do it. Um, and I think that's what the film's really trying to say is there's there's a way to help people and there's a way that's just like you kind of want to step back and be like, wait, this is very this is very wrong. Really, people should not be treated like this, whether you believe in what they're doing or not. You kind of have to back up, let them kind of decide for themselves, and then just kind of let the therapy happen the way it should. While Joe Udderton's character's approach was more so hitting you over the head with something that he believed in, and that's not always the right way to do it. So the film kind of plays around with all these ideas and has very good performances as a result, too. There's also some very intentionally tough moments to watch. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but there is a scene not involving Lucas Hedges' character, but another young man that goes into this therapy session too. Some of the stuff they make him do is just absolutely horrible. Absolutely, no matter what you're trying to convert them or persuade them to think, some of the things they make them do are really not humane at all. Um, and so I really thought the film did a great job with um, really showing just how tough and how brutal some of these things are in real life when it comes to some of these therapy sessions and trying to convert people to believe something different. And it's just some moments were just very intentionally tough to watch. And it does make for a good film, but it also makes for a film that may make some imagery kind of difficult to watch too. Joel Edgerton's direction as a director for this film I thought was very strong. Like I said, he really views it from all equations. He really does view it as how the young man goes about this, how the parents go about this, how the therapy session people go about this. He really has a very wide range of how to approach the story, and I thought it was very effective as a result. They also show the terrors of that therapy session. They really do show some things that really are kind of hard to believe that really happened to this young man, because this was based off a true story. Just the idea that this really did happen to somebody, this was really something that people witnessed with their own eyes at these sessions was really quite terrifying, and so the film really depicts that in a very effective way. For my negatives of Boy Erase, though, um, I thought some of the moments in the film just kind of felt like unnecessary dead space, and what I mean by that is there's moments where we follow Lucas Hedges' character around, and we just kind of see things that really aren't related to the sets and she's going to, really aren't related to his personal life, really aren't related to his relationships. They're just kind of moments where he just kind of has time to himself, and either whether he uses that time effectively or not is kind of up to the viewer. But some of the moments to me just kind of felt like unnecessary dead space. They just kind of feel like a passing of time that isn't very told, that isn't told very accurately. Um, so I thought some of those moments could have hand, been handled better in the movie. Also, I thought Joel Edgerton's character that, that he plays in the movie, I thought his exit from the film was just very abrupt and very broad. There was more details around surrounding his character in these sessions that he was involved with that they really didn't give them too much detail on. They didn't really specifically tell us what exactly happened to these sessions, what exactly happened to him. Um, did it Was it shut down in just that state? Was it shut down all over the U.S.? Uh, how come certain states still legalize things like this? Um, so I thought there were certain aspects of that that could have been told in handled better with the details, especially with the end credits when they go over certain things. There was a lot of things specifically about Joel Edgerton's character that I thought would have been more interesting to learn more details on. Also, because the film is so brutal at times to watch, the replay value of this film, I really can't see myself watching this numerous more times, maybe one or two more times for, for a friend or family member that really is interested in seeing what this film is all about, but it's not really a film I could see myself watching over and over and over again, just because some of the stuff they do depict in this film is very brutal to watch. And then it goes into my next point. Like I said, there is some pretty brutal moments in this film, so there are some moments where if you're very squeamish to certain kind of films... Boy Erase may not be the film for you just because there are certain moments that are kind of tough to watch. And then like I brought up earlier with Joel Edgerton's character, what exactly happened to this specific program, the one that Lucas Hedges' character got involved with? Did that one get shut down? Did this man get fired? Did he have a hard time finding another job? Um, yes, it's great that they went over kind of the U.S. status of are these kind of things still around towards the end? But they never specifically go over what happened to this specific program, this one that was really truly brutal with their ways of converting and persuading people to think differently. Um, so I thought that aspect could have been handled better. I just needed more details on that thing. I felt like there was just a certain more point in the film where they just completely dropped the details on important aspects like the program getting shut down and so forth. 
Overall, I'm going to give Boy Erased to 8.5 out of 10. It's very effective. It's very emotionally powerful. If there are some Oscar nominations, I won't be shocked at all, just because Lucas Hedges, Nicole Kinman, Russell Crowe, and Joel Edgerton all give great performances here. They definitely give performances to the, of pursuing a scenario that isn't exactly easy to tell or or persuade or depict in a way in a film too so i think that might be another aspect as to why this film might get nominated for certain things um joel edgerton's directing was very strong again i still think the gift is a better film overall but it's great to see joel edgerton direct another really good film again so if he directs a third film i'll be all on board for it just because this film and the gift were so good uh, but like I said, there were some dead space moments. Uh, Jill Edgerton's character's exit for the film I thought could have been handled better. Uh, the replay value of this film isn't very strong. Um, and I would have liked to have seen more details brought up as like as far as like um, was that program shut down and so forth like that. But 8.5 out of 10 for me. Very strong, good film. And another great directorial effort from Jill Edgerton.